हेलो माय स्टूडेंट दिस इज शांतनु वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल अगेन इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ एंटोनिम्स दिस क्लास विल टू बी फोकस्ड ऑन द सिलेक्शन ऑफ प्रॉपर एंटोनिम्स फॉर द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स ऑफ एवरी काइंड whether you are going to appear at the SSC GA or PSC or bank or any other exam. Kindly keep watching my videos regularly, subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the notification bell icon for more such video. Now I would like to start my class. Kindly keep your focus on the board. Look through the first word. The word is stupor. Mean it means a state of unconsciousness or a state of insensibility. Refuse, reconstruction, abject. Abject means something very humiliating. Sensibility. La last option or option D. In option D, you will find the word sensibility. Now here, stupor means a state of unconsciousness or a state of insensibility therefore the opposite to this is sensibility because abject means humility reconstruction and refuse both are different now go next classicism classicism english literature is categorized under some periods one of the ages is classicism the, the age of classicism Romanticism, discord means disagreement. Fancy means something living in the utopian world or in the world of imagination. Now here classicism has some basic features. On the other hand, the opposite to classicism is romanticism because their features are different from each other. The features of classicism and the features of romanticism both are the ages of English literature, but you should take it into account that their features were different from each other. Therefore, the opposite is romanticism. Now, go next. Audacity. Audacity means I have the you can say I have the courage, or you can say it is not about the courage. You can say it is all about the excessive pride. I have the arrogance. I have the haughtiness or something like that. Disjoint means separate or segregate. Obstinate means insistent or stubborn. Mildness means very humble or something like that. Apparent means at, that is called addition, apparent. So, audacity suggests arrogance. Disjoint means separate or you can say segregate, better language is called segregate. Now here the question is audacity, now the opposite is mildness. Whenever someone is audacious, the opposite should be mild, not at all audacious, very calm or something like that. Apparent means at, now go next. Shabby, shabby means not in good condition, poorly dressed or something like that. Prosperous means very enriched, very bright. Long means you can say aspire or crepe or yearn. Consecrated means purified, that is called purified, consecrated. Aspire, aspire and long both are almost equal in sense. Aspire and long both are almost equal in sense. Consecrated means you can say made sacred or you can say purified. But here the answer should not be like consecrated long or as well because shabby means in good, not at all in good condition or you can say in poor condition. Therefore, the answer is possible. It is the closest one, not the exact one, but the closest one. He is in prosperous condition means he is in very good condition. So, that is the closest one. Now, look through the world class two part. The opposite is sensibility. If I just consider classicism, it's a very important period of English literature. The opposite to classicism is romanticism. Audacity means suggest arrogance or something, haughtiness or high-handedness. The opposite is mildness. 
Shabby means not at all in good condition or you can say poorly dressed or very dirty etc etc. The closest synonym, the closest antonym for the word is prosperous because consecutive suggests you can say purified, aspire and long both are equal means craving. Appaint means at or affix, obstinate means stubborn or you can say insistent, I-N-S-I-S-T-E-N-T. Refuse, you all know the meaning of refuse, discord means disagreement, abject means something very humiliating. So this is my short class for the so far as antonyms are concerned. If you are unable to understand any part of this class, you are free to drop your queries. Kindly keep waiting for my next class. Till then, have a very good day.